Welcome back. I am just. This is actually starting off. So, like, unlike my my last clip, this is actually starting off from exactly where I left off in in the game. So, as you can remember, I uh, was going through the door. I was talking to BT, and then all of a sudden, yeah, he said you were going outside or whatever. But actually, I think I do die. Like right here. Like, it doesn't look like I'm gonna die, but I think I die. Like, I walk out here, and then... It shit gets crazy. Like, shit gets crazy right here. They're like, enemies start spawning like nuts. See, these huge titans come out of that doorway. Then I need to, like... I don't know, it gets nuts, like, in a few seconds here. There's, like, a bunch of robots come and blindside me, and, like... I couldn't do anything because there was like too many of them. Pilot, activating sonar pulse to assist you. So yeah, um, uh, I worked today. Uh, that was interesting. It took way longer than I thought it was going to. I work at a hotel and like, I don't know, we have to like work until we get done with all the rooms inside the whole building, so. Like, I didn't have that many rooms, like, and it took way longer than I thought it was going to take, so it was just nuts. But right here, it's like, see, they all spawn out of nowhere, you see that? That's a glitch in the game, I feel like. I, like, make it a point to, like, point out glitches that I see, and that was a complete glitch, like, how, where did those all spawn from? Like, they, like, spawned on top of me and fucked my shit up. But from here, I think I, uh, I can do a pretty good run on this one. Pilot, I've located the controls to extend the bridge to the ranks. I've marked it on your hunt. Let's see, I'm, I do a pretty good job of time traveling right here. It may look like I'm about to die, but I actually survive somehow. I don't know. <laughs> it was a pretty close one right there. Like, I uh, just, like, nuts. So, yeah. All these damn fucking robots die, fucking robots. All the fucking robots killing them. So I was like having a hard time finding out where this console was, but like I eventually found it. But I like had to switch and then hack into it. I just knifed it right there. I was like, knife. Why do they even have a keyboard if you just have a little knife that just does all the work for you? What's the point of that? I don't understand that. Like, there's no point to that keyboard at all. And why do you have to knife the keyboard? Why can't you just lift it up? It just it doesn't make any sense. It gets nuts right here, though. It gets crazy. It's like the bridge won't extend unless you're in the other uh, time period. So, like, all of these people are coming at me now. And explosions. Explosions like every day. Easy. This is pretty cool. I like how they uh, did this part in the game. Everything's frozen, and you get to kind of just watch and look around at all the explosions. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nuts. Like, everything's getting blown up. <laughs> I think this is due to the a failed test project with this weapon that they're trying to trying to create. I don't understand this part though. Like, how how does he have the ability to time travel? It must be something to do with like the the weapon itself. It creates a disturbance in time space. And somehow I went back in time and found the core of the weapon. This is what they're looking for. The IMC. Well done, pilot. Scan complete. As Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. 
Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. I think we're this is like about the halfway point of the game. Or actually, I feel like I had a lot more I played through a lot of the game. Like already, like from all my other game clips that I had. It's not like even the halfway point. I feel like this is like 75% done with the game. With after this mission got done. Why the fuck's my alarm going off? What the hell? I had to go away from my TV for a second and my alarm's going off. It's annoying the hell out of me. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it was just like, what? I didn't even turn that... I turned that alarm on last night, and I must have turned it on for a different time, because, like... You know, you ever do that? You're, like, sitting... Like, you set your alarm, and then you think it's set for 7.30 in the morning, and then you, you accidentally set it for 7.30 at night. Like, cause I have a morning job and it's just like, that shit gets annoying, like, no wonder I didn't wake up, like, I almost, I wasn't late to work, but like, I woke up like late a little bit and I was like, why didn't my alarm go off? But I like, didn't think about it too much cause I had to like, get myself ready and stuff, but, uh, that's, it just gets annoying after like, doing it so many times, it's just like, oh, why does this happen? You just gotta be really cautious about all sorts of stuff, like, it's hard to concentrate though when you're like playing a video game like you get tired after playing video games and it's just like you want to go to bed it's just like you still have a bunch of stuff like pre stuff to do before you go to bed and like you don't think about it at the time because like you're just too tired to even think about anything No, I'm guessing some gamers just ran straight into that, but I was smart enough to listen to BT. Uh, you get the Ronin here, but I don't use it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't use the Ronin until like later on in the game. Because the Ronin's actually not the best Titan for this level. I think the Tone is like one of the best Titans for this level. Because you don't have a bunch of close range enemies like attacking you and stuff like that. And if you try to get close to like the later on enemies, they like really mess your stuff up. No, I should have gone the other way because uh, actually the sergeant's over in that building that I just looked at. But I'm like, I don't like understand, I guess, yet. So I'm just kind of running around in circles, exploring the map out. But if I went the other way, so that's uh, kind of a shortcut for anyone that uh, doesn't want to say, Oh, you need an arc tool, and uh, actually you really don't, like, have one yet. Because you have to go talk to that sergeant guy. Kind of pissed off a little bit at myself, so I threw an explosion bomb at the... <laughs> We're at the arc tool area, and then I realized that there's stuff going on over here. <clears throat> really, they're not even shooting these guys. I feel like your allies don't help much in this game. But that's like any game that's kind of like has a single player mode. Like, Halo is like even like the worst for that. The allies don't do anything in Halo. Threat neutralized. Well done. This victory has raised. I don't know about the new one though yet. I haven't played. Actually, to be honest, I haven't played it. Uh, Halo Five Guardians. But I, I've heard mixed reviews about it. So, but I think this game is way better than than Halo. I wish they made the story longer though. Like, that's my, like, a big thing that, like, kind of sucks about, about this. I think the mechanics of this game are, like, on point, though. Like, being able to roll, wall run and slide and sprint and throw shurikens and throw grenades and throw satchels and blow up shit. And all the weapons that you get. It's just a fun, like, run and gun. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? So now I have to go find the arc tool. 
because he's going to go to...